Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to another episode of Adobe Live. My name is Guy Three Guy Quad. I'm um, streaming live from San Francisco. Um, I am an experienced designer on the Adobe XD team. Um, I'm really excited to be hosting this show today. First time on my own, so let me know in the comments. I can read them as you guys type them in. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you'd like me to go over something again uh, while I'm presenting. So I'll be talking to you guys about a little bit about share mode within Adobe XD. And for those of you who don't know what Adobe XD is, Adobe XD is um, an experienced design software that usually UX designers, UI designers use a lot to create designs for web, phone, or iPad applications on anything to do with software um, and how it looks and how it works and feels. Um, creating screens for it, um, prototyping them, helping them communicate uh, better with engineers and making plans for what needs to be built or what needs to be fixed. Um, so that's what XD is. Um, let me say hi to a couple of people tuned in over here. Hi, Shristi. Um, hi, Joss. Hi, Tim. Paco's here as well. Um, all right, so why don't we dive right in uh, to what I'm talking about. All right, so pulled up on my screen over here is XD. Um, so let me just pull out of the screen. It's kind of like that. Um, it looks like that on the carousel down here. So the when you first open the app, you will see this little uh, document. Uh, holder kind of thing in the center of the screen and for you to get started you can pick any one of these options up here. I usually go with custom. Um, this opens a brand new document as you can see over here. Um, for those of you who have never used XD there are a couple of things to just get you started. So we have two kind of uh, tabs up here. Uh, the design mode, this is where you can, if you've used any other Adobe app before, you can kind of set up your artboard. These are some of the tools that you can use. Um, of course, the toolbars on the left. XD purposely is a little bit more um, cleaner and um, minimal in the way we give you options. We try very hard uh, to meet the user where they're at and um, all the options that you see are completely contextual to what you might be doing in the app. Another thing to know about the app is there is something called also a prototype mode. Um, this is a little bit of a splash screen explaining exactly what I was going to tell you is about. It's a way where you can select objects in your design and um, kind of set up interactions between them. Um, you can wire them up and add a couple of animations to make your designs feel a little bit more real. Um, and the third mode, the most important uh, section that we're going to be talking about is uh, this mode right here. Um, this is the share. Share mode or like share sheet where you can, once you've done some of your work and you might not always be around to like present your work uh, in person to people or if once you've presented you would like to gather some feedback, um, this is the way for you to share some of your work. So let's get started. Um, before we jump into uh, the share mode, I need to like have some slides ready, right? So I have a file over here um, that I've quickly just set up for us to start playing with. So I've just selected, gone over here into the frame tool and are the artboard tool and Adobe gives you on the right hand side options of the different kinds of artboards that you can create. Um, so um, let me just make what I made right here. So I selected iPhone and this is just the default size of an iPhone artboard that you would see. Um, that's exactly what these are. Uh, once you select into, the, select into it, you can change the background colors on the right hand side from the PI. You can kind of play around with whatever color you want. And tucked away in here in the corner is if you want to work with some kind of gradients. Um, as you can see, uh, I upped the contrast over here a little bit so you can see how you can create different kinds of gradients. 
All right, so I've set this up quite simply with the background colors being selected over here. Um, and I had just have these three slides ready right now. Before you share something, you wanna know what it looks like to the person you're going to send it to. And uh, you can do that through this little play button over here. So because this artboard is what I've selected and I hit that play button on that right hand side corner, um, it shows me the first screen. I earlier told you about this prototype mode over here. I don't have anything wired right now. And I wanna take a step back before we go into any complicated prototyping. I wanna talk about the fact that in XD, if you just have three slides already or three artboards already created, you can go into sharing pretty much from here. So if you see the preview mode, if you hit the right and left arrow key on your, on your keyboards, um, it arrows across the artboards that you have designed. It'll arrow across any of the artboards. So let me pull back a little bit over here. So this is all the other artboards I have. And because nothing is wired and nothing is defined, um, it's going to arrow through everything that I have on the artboard. And sometimes maybe you're, you just have these three slides or you wanna share all of these together. Um, you can go into share mode and we'll come back to this first option in a little bit. In a little bit. Um, so say you wanna share this for review with uh, someone who you're very close to on the team uh, or you're working with and you, or you just wanna your fellow designer to give you feedback on like the first three things that you perhaps designed. I'm actually even going to remove these slides for now. And what if I just had these three over here that I would like to share? So you go into share for review right here on the right hand side. And when you go into share for review, um, you can name this anything you want. Right now I'm like gonna say share mode unwired. And there are a couple of options over here. And uh, if you take a little bit of time, you can customize it. So say you want to see comments, we're gonna get in, I'll show you exactly what this means in a second. Show hotspots, we don't really care about hotspots right now because we haven't prototyped anything. Um, say you wanna set it up such that every time someone creates, opens this uh, link, it opens in a full screen, or if you wanna require a password. And you can set up a password any over here. Right now, for these purposes, I, I think for now we don't need a password, so, I will create a new link. And if I click on this link, it shows me in a preview over here exactly um, what we were seeing in that preview screen that we were on in XD. So right, on, right over here in the bottom of the screen, you see this pagination op option, which is exactly what the arrow screens were, arrow keys were earlier as well. So if you page across this, I have no prototypes. I just have three design, three screens put together and you can kind of next across through all of them. In the right, in the left hand corner over here, there are these, uh, this option to select and see these designs in um, a grid mode. This is really, really effective when you have a lot of slides that you need to preview. So you can jump to exactly the one that you need to be at. Also this home screen over here takes you to the very beginning of the present presentation. All right, so this is a very quick uh, kind of preview of like the very basic things that you can do in share mode. Now, um, if you say had spent a little bit more time on your designs, maybe you made some designs where you created some kind of a prototype. Say you, uh, maybe we'll keep it really simple. I kind of had this earlier where um, this circle that I have is taking over the artboards over here. So, I'm just creating a very basic animation uh, or at very, very, really basic set of screens just so, I can, just so I can show you exactly what's changing um, and you can keep a track of what's what, one after the other. So I have these three different screens go into prototype mode and you see this little home button 
over here. Uh, home again basically just reiterates this is this is where you start from. Um, and then I'm gonna keep that as the home button, but you can change it. You can assign other artboards as a place to start. Um, but I'm gonna keep one for now. And then you see this little blue toggle button, uh, toggle icon. Um, if you drag this out, you can wire it to the next artboard and then you see it again and we wire it to the next one. And as you select uh, this wire, you can s decide what animation you wanna uh, attach to this. So there are a couple of options over here. There's cap, there's drag, there's timed animation. And one of the ones that I like to use most is auto animate. And we'll get to see the magic of this in just one second. Um, all right. Let's see, we have a couple of people over here. Um, hi, Eric. Oh, once life, you never take things back. That is true, Eric. It is, it is um, tricky. It is definitely that something that can make you very nervous being on live, but I kind of enjoy it. It's like using a different part of your brain. Um, all right, so jumping back into what I was talking about, um, I have three slides, I've wired them. And then if I go into share mode and I go back to share for review, I can um, update this link over here. And as I um, update this and you go back to that link. All right, so you see the designs have changed over here, but I also had the animations uh, or like the prototype wired together. So let's see, I had set up drag. So as you can see, those animations are now flowing in. One of the things that I can go back and change as well is add on top of the animation. So what if I wanted to bring them back this way and make the animation work that way? Um, so let's go back and update it. And you open the link again. There we go. So now you can slide back from this. Ooh. Let me try that one more time. If it was there, drag. Maybe I'll tap. Maybe that'll be the tr trigger and then you go for sure for review and hit update. So we have a few new, new people here. Hi, Jessica. Um, hi, Jackie. Hi, Chintan. Um, like I said, if any of you have any questions, send them in to the chat over here. I'm happy to answer, answer them. And if I miss them, feel free to post it again. I'll come in at some point. All right, so if you hit update on this, um, it should update the link. And if you go back to your review and hit refresh on the browser. Um, now if we click, click on this, this should go back to the second screen. So I don't know if you guys noticed, um, in these three slides, I have a drag feature set on these three artboards. And then on the third one, I have a tap set up. So drag one, drag two. And then if I just tap on this, it goes back to two. All right, so a couple of more things to cover in uh, the share uh, feature for XD. All right. Um, I talked to you a little bit about this little check mark over here where it says allow comments. Um, so let's see a little bit about what that's about. Um, I'm going to quickly, maybe add a little bit more detail into uh, my designs. I'm going to say, go back to design mode. There, that's where you have all these tools and options available for you. Um, and perhaps I'm going to, I'm gonna take a bit of this and I'm gonna make something that is a little bit more familiar for us. Maybe this, uh, like that carousel design that it's, that is very popular in um, a lot of online or like mobile apps as well. So I'm just gonna set it up. It's just like very basic wireframes. Um, and I'm gonna, you can option drag to duplicate an artboard or you can just select it and hit command D and that will duplicate the artboard. And what I really just wanna do is going to become clear in a second. What I want to do is I wanna just 
create a simple drag feature, which perhaps is just this much. Let me see what the size of this is, 230. So I wanna, you can also adjust the parameters of your objects on the little right hand side corner. Um, and so I just want it to be exactly the same size as this square over here. Um, just so just so we can see the difference a little bit better, I'm gonna add a little bit more color. So there are a couple of different ways you can do that. You can do it from the PI side over here, or you can just hit a shortcut, the I shortcut, and it's gonna pick up any color you have on uh, available to you. So I'm just gonna, for now, pick up this blue. And um, for the next color, I'm gonna use the blue again, but maybe a lighter color just so that we can differentiate it. Um, since I'm using these two colors, I can add them as assets that I'm gonna use again on the left-hand side, literally in the assets panel. Um, there we go. And so if I wanna apply this color one more time, I can go in and select it from the assets panel on the left-hand side. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna quickly prototype this um, over here. And we're gonna make it a drag interaction. And like I said, bring it all the way back as well. Um, actually, I'm gonna bring it back, bring it back like this. Select this one and bring it back over here. All right, so like I said, before you update this prototype, um, you might wanna go into the preview button right here in the corner and press it just to see if your interaction is correct or not. So it seems like it's working. Um, again, I have a prototype created over here, but what if I just wanna share just these two artboards because I spent more time working on them. There's an isolated uh, prototype that I wanna get feedback on. So like I said before, you can hit this little uh, grayed out home button. This now makes it a new um, home and a prototype. And I can go into the share mode, uh, share, share button over here and um, say share for review. And now uh, I've selected allow comments and maybe I wanna make it have a password. So. For now, I'm gonna keep it really basic and maybe make it just Adobe XD. There you go. Um, and maybe I want to uh, yeah, you can change the settings over here as well with like only invited people can you can over here you'd have to actually go in and invite these people, but before that you'd have to create a brand new separate link. So each time you're creating, changing the privacy of a link, you would have to create a new link uh, and publish the prototype again. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to keep it simple. Um, there we go. And I'd like to select this whole thing and share for review. And I over here, I think want to make a new link. So I'm gonna create a brand new link. And when I click it, all right, so I have my animation over here. And maybe somebody on my team wants to give me some feedback. For them, uh, it's always good to come back over here and make sure your uh, prototype, how your prototype looks, because a lot of times uh, what we select and share out and what we've previewed might change. Like I said, you have a, you have multiple artboards here. If by mistake you had all these selected, um, and hit share over here. Although XD lets you see a preview of what you're sharing with the screens being highlighted blue, um, it's still a good idea. And I've fallen for this mistake myself multiple times um, of sharing the wrong thing. Um, so it's always just for your own um, kind of like sanity. Uh, and instead of like having to go and cause confusion or anything, it's good to kind of make sure you have the right thing shared out. Um, this is the comment section over here on the right hand side that I was talking about earlier. Um, so in, in case someone on my team has a link to this prototype, they can um, say, 
turn make this less blue um i don't know if you can see my comment over here right here um and then i hit submit so the next time I come back to this uh, document, I would see this, com this is how the comment would show up for someone who also had uh, an access to this link. And over here, I can go and take a look at this comment. So if a stakeholder or someone I was working with or someone I was seeking feedback from came in here and gave me feedback on this, I could always go back um, maybe just, just for pretend sake, we'll pretend we're changing the designs for somebody and maybe we make it say pink. You go back in here, uh, you share for a review. Uh, we'll do the whole thing actually. We'll, we'll do the whole rigmarole. We will make it lighter, make, oh, actually, you know what? Um, we'll take a step back. So since we applied this color over here from the assets panel, you can make universal changes um, on in the document. So if you uh, click into this and hit edit, I can change the colors where you see over here how like I can make any changes universally in the document with, as long as it's been applied from the left hand side of the assets panel. So we change it to a pink and then we wanna change the other blue as well to say a little bit of a lighter pink. There you go. Um, and then uh, I make sure I select this prototype over here and I hit share for review and I hit this blue update button over here. So what you see happen over there is that what XD did was just take that old link and update it with the changes. And the nice thing over there is that you don't have to create a brand new link. Your people, those who have, uh, those who want to give you feedback can go back to the same old link or the next time that they open it will have the newest version of what you updated from the share button over here. Uh, so if you if you just remind them on Slack or e via email or share the link again, um, you don't have to create a brand new link. So if I go back here and hit the refresh button over here, this should have changed it, changed our designs to the newest version. So let me just see. I think I might have, I actually, so I, okay. Okay, I do have the right thing. There we go. Um, so you see how the, um, comments are also linked to the artboard um, that you gave it on. So since we have this artboard is the very first one, you can have this option over here in the right, in the absolute bottom, it, as you can see all, see all the comments on all screens. If I turn that off over here, there were no comments on the first screen, but since there were comments on the second screen, it is appended to that artboard. Now that I've changed the color and my previous comment was make this less blue, you can actually even use this feature to leave some notes for yourself when you're um, kind of taking feedback from someone on your team or like you're presenting to someone. So over here, now that I'm done making this change, I've addressed this feedback. What you can do is you can res hit resolve and this is gonna archive this change for later. And and you can continue sharing this link, with, this link with people and kind of use the comment section as a mini kind of checklist of the things that you need to kind of take care of. Also, one of the things that you can do um, I'll zoom in over here is at mention a user. So I saw Jessica on this chat earlier, so I'm gonna perhaps tag Jessica. Well, or I'm gonna pretend to tag Jessica. Wait a minute, let me see if I can tag her. Jess, I might be on my private account, but say I can like send it to my Adobe ID. I can invite myself. Um, and that you, that person can be added or like I can at mention myself and it'll send me. Um, so let me do that again. Let me show it, show it to you one more time. Delete comment. Okay. So say I can at mention another person and say, can you please take a look at this design? 
So what it would do is Adobe XD would send me or whoever I'm like tagging an email, letting them know that you've been tagged in this particular prototype. And um, kind of like, as you would at mention someone on Twitter or Slack, it, the principle is the same. You would get a notification giving you information about you've been tagged on this certain section in this prototype. Please go take a look at it. All right. Um, all right, let's go back into XD and move on to the next thing. So you've created a pro, we talked about how you can quickly share without prototyping. Another thing um, we should talk about is uh, creating and export. Suppose there are some assets in here which you wanna make available to your developers. Uh, one of the things that you can do is go into this layers panel and over here, if you select the asset, um, there are three options over here. Um, one of them is this, the first one is called mark for export, the other one is lock, and the other one is hide. So if you lock, you can't change any of the assets on the artboard. If you hide, of course you can't see it. But batch export is the one that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So if you mar mark it for export, and you go into the share mode, the third thing you see is share for development. Um, and over here you see, you can decide what you're trying to share for. So I'm creating an iOS app um, and I'm going to include this asset over here for download. Um, you can say create link and for development, you can create a brand new link to share with your developers so that once you're done with your prototype, um, they can kind of extract some assets from it. All right, let me, let me catch up on some of the comments over here. Okay. Priyank is trying to uh, start a party up here. Up, up here. Uh, it's Friday in San Francisco, so I don't mind at all. Um, all right, so coming back to uh, my share mode link, my link over here, um, as you can see, um, I, if I go into this little, uh, option in this corner over here. Um, what happened was because I used um, share mo uh, share for development back back here in the app. Let me just quick. I kind of did that fast, so I'm gonna do it. Show it to you just one more time. Go in over here, share for development, and if you want some assets being made available to uh, a developer you're working with or another another designer through your app through your prototype, um, and if you right next to the comment section if you select this little develop, develop dev icon or like a code icon you can see details or like spec details uh on this asset so i had made this asset um available marked for export so what you can see over here is that i can download this asset from the prototype link a lot of times designer uh developers just want a logo or an image uh to download so um, I'm quite quickly running out of time over here. Um, if you guys have any more questions on share mode or how to share some of your work, there are some really helpful videos online. Just write share uh, and Adobe XD, and you should be able to find some really good videos on how to do different kinds of sharing. Um, I was able to cover just the tip of the iceberg and watch sharing, but it sh is, but you should be able to get a lot done uh, just with those three different kinds of sharing. Um, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys again soon online. Um, keep designing. And if you have any questions, keep posting on Twitter. A lot of our team um, comes back and responds to them. All right, thank you so much.